What's going on everybody? This is your boy Solomon here from Solomon's Vegas Adventures. Well, the channel name is now going to be changed to Solomon's Outdoor Adventures um, because I don't live in Vegas anymore. Um, and I know I haven't gotten a video out to you guys in a while, but I wanna thank everyone for watching and uh, interacting with the channel. And we have some exciting new videos up on the docket. And uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for all you guys' support. And this video is an older one that I never posted about backpacking Hayford Peak, which is a high mountain in the Sheep Range north of Las Vegas. So uh, without further ado, guys, thanks so much. Solomon's Outdoor Adventures. Let's go. Solomon's Outdoor Adventures. All right, guys. We are up here at Dead Man Canyon at the foot of the Hayford Peak Trail out here in the Sheep Range. We drove up about 20 miles on a dirt road. It was a really, really hairy dirt road. I'm not gonna lie, like places in that wash were pretty bad, but the old champ made it. And uh, we're going to uh, backpack Hayford Peak tomorrow. We're just gonna set up camp tonight, but take a look at these views. You can see the Spring Mountains over there, Mummy Mountain rising the highest above these Joshua trees. We're at an elevation about 6,000 feet and uh, just a gorgeous, gorgeous evening. Well, late afternoon evening here in Southern Nevada. And uh, looking out to the Spotted Range, Area 51 is over there, which is an interesting tidbit. And there's a legend, um, some urban lore about this area that's quite interesting and honestly a little bit creepy that I'll tell you guys about a little later. And then we've got Angel right there. What's up, buddy? And we've got Aaron right there. So uh, my dad's all the way up there. And uh, the destination is Hayford Peak, which is the top of the Sheep Range, which is that range north of Las Vegas. The elevation, 9,912 feet. So we're gonna get that tomorrow morning. Accessing the trailhead for Hayford Peak from town is actually quite simple. Um, it's called the Hidden Forest Trailhead. Although, to be clear, you'll spend about 20 miles on a dirt road. So take US 95 north of town, and then when you get to Corn Creek, turn right, follow that road for three miles, turn left on Alamo Road, stay on Alamo Road, which is a dirt road for 15 miles, and then turn right onto Hidden Forest Road, and you'll stay on that road for about three to four miles, and the end of the road is the trailhead. So the road can be a little bit hairy, can be a little bit rough, so I highly recommend a 4x4 high clearance vehicle, because if you try to go onto this road without one, not going to be good. So that's how you get to Hayford Peak. So the lore around these parts that's uh, allegedly pretty creepy is uh, a disappearance of a YouTuber by the name of Kenny Veach. Uh, so apparently this guy went hiking in the sheep range by himself. Really smart move, right? Um, and apparently he found a cave that looked like the letter M and had some weird vibrations emanating from it. And uh, he disappeared and was never seen again. And they never found his body, which is the other interesting thing. Um, so given our proximity to Area 51, uh, which is right behind me, now it's right behind me, um, people are saying that there were aliens in that cave or there was something supernatural going on or something paranormal, uh, something demonic, evil. Uh, of some sort and that's what got him so a lot of people have been trying to find his cave to much futility and uh, that's just kind of the lore around these parts I don't know if there's any stories of his ghost haunting this area or whatever but apparently a guy disappeared out here and found a cave that had aliens in it so uh, there you go there's your Nevada lore for uh, Dead Man Canyon and the Sheep Range so uh very interesting stuff. Very interesting stuff indeed. Howdy, partner. We got that sun about to set over there, over the spotted range. Looking over into Area 51 over there. Smoke from a fire. The, the views out here are sublime. Delicious meal. Delicious view. Look at that sunset. It's all the smoke from those fires in California. Ooh, I look right at it. Making for a pretty sunset.
and as you guys can see, there's a huge plume of smoke over there. Looks like a huge wildfire. However, that's Area 51 over there, so you never know what kind of fishy stuff might be going on over there. Big smoke nonetheless, though. Tell me that smoke does not look like a person with, like, a pointy beard and a bun. That's crazy. See, this is how conspiracy theories are born. You know what I mean? That looks straight up like a freaking human. <laughs> What's coming out of its mouth, though? See that? That really looks like a person, though. Oh, my God. I'm a cowboy. <laughs> Right there, that's that. On a steel horse I ride. I'm wanted. Wanted. Dead or alive. <laughs> like furled eyebrows or whatever. <laughs> Yo, it's dark out here. It's nighttime. Oh. Nighttime is the right time. Hopefully, not mosquito bite time. <laughs> This is how horror stories begin. Dun dun dun! Well, it's like 5.30 in the morning. The sun hasn't risen yet. And it's about time to start hiking up Hanford Peak. Let's go. Just stunning. Sunrise on the springs. Making our way up Dead Man Canyon. Down here at the bottom of the canyon. Only ways up from here. Look at how steeply dipped and uh, fractured up these limestone walls are. Cave over there. Pretty dope. And uh, you can see that cave right there. Going off on that Kenny Beach legend. I mean, there's lots of caves in the canyons around here just because of the geology of things. So it's, uh, you know, not out of the realm of possibility that the guy really did find a weird cave. But yeah, I'll go check that out. I'd be willing to bet that some sort of animal calls that cave home now. Let's find out. There it is. It's uh, interesting. Just a tiny little cave up here. Nothing much. <laughs> yeah, just in the side of this limestone wall. Nothing really in there. Interesting little cave though. And as you guys can see, the canyon really opens up here. That fault right there, pretty visible. And uh, this rock here is all limestone that dates back to the Cambrian about 500 some odd million years ago. It's an ancient coral reef, now part of these mountains. Nice little side canyon right there as uh, we're making our way up. And as you guys can see, as we get higher in elevation, it gets greener. We're at about 6,800 feet right now. And uh, we've got our pinon pines, our junipers, and pretty soon we should start to be seeing ponderosa pines. So let's keep going. And you know what the beetles say. Here comes the sun. Doot and doo doo. Those cathedrals up there. Wow. Through these pinon pines. That's right. And uh, we're getting high up in the canyon. You can see it starts getting greener. And you guys can tell that we're getting up higher in elevation because you can see those white firs and ponderosa pines starting to show up. Above 7,000 feet. Yeah. Getting high up in the mountains. The sheep range, named because of the uh, numerous amount of bighorn sheep that inhabit the area. Though we haven't been lucky to see one yet. But this is stunning. This is so remote. We're out here close to Vegas, but barely anyone ever goes up here. Very, very good views. Very pretty little side canyon, lots of white firs. We're about three miles in, more or less. And as you can see, it's getting real, real green. Can't make the scene if you ain't got the green. Well, we got the green. High up in the canyon up here. Lots of trees, quite lush. 
let's mush forward. Nice stand of ponderosas up there. Wow. Here's another little interesting thing. There's a cave over there. And there it is, folks. That old cabin. Yeah. Very cool. There's a tiny little spring here. And an old rusted can of cores. This is Wiregrass Spring. Yeah. And here's that old cabin. Let's check it out. You can go in. Going in the cabin. Whoa. There's like a table, a broom and dustpan, Las Vegas hidden forest cabin restoration. So they restored this cabin in 2009 so that people that camped here could stay. Kind of cool. Firewood, fireplace, shovels, sink. <laughs> Look at all this wooden material, cooking material, oil, something in there. Bug killer drawers. Pretty cool. Look at that calcite rich limestone. Just calcite in it. Very cool. Look at that cabin back there. That's real nice. Hidden forest. A real hidden gem. Up here, high up in the sheep range. And now for the final push up to Hayford Peak. Just two more miles. Let's go. Views are really starting to open up. Yup. And that peak right there is Hayford Peak, the destination. Getting closer. Whew. Hope you know what these trees are. Bristlecone pines. We're getting high up there. First bristle cones. Let's go. Some pretty cool rock here. All like conglomeratic quartzite. Very, very interesting. More bristle cones here. This little flat, very pretty. And then Hayford up there. Nice view. And then very nice rock formations down here. This is very, very cool. Wow. And now we are fully immersed into a bristle cone pine forest. These trees are probably 3,000 years old, older than Jesus. And here's the top of Hayford Peak. Whoa. Views everywhere. Mormon Mountains there. Virgin Mountains there. Kaibab Plateau, Arizona over there. Muddy Mountains right there. Little Virgin Mountains. Muddy Mountains are those pointy ones. And then Quartzite Mountain right in the foreground. Mount Wilson in Arizona in the background. Gas Peak. The Las Vegas Range right there. And the McCulloughs. In the background, Frenchman right there. And then, yeah, Sheep Peak right there. Mount Potosi, Clark Mountain way over there. And then the Spring Mountains, Mount Charleston, and uh, all those peaks there. Solar powers up here. And whatever that is, weather station maybe. And just the radio tower. The summit right there. And behind these bristlecone pines is Area 51. So it's funny how the view of Area 51 is obscured by trees over there looking north into the Great Basin. Nice. Well, that's Hayford Peak. Quite a slog to get up. Just real gorgeous out here. Hidden Forest, the Sheep Range. Look at these huge ponderosas. And we have climbed Hayford Peak. That was a really hard hike. Uh, I think when it's all said and done, I'm going to have done over 20 miles today. So uh, I'll keep you guys updated with that. But real great out here. Coming back down. Look at that rock. It's a pretty cool rock. Nice rock. Nice rock indeed. That was an all day affair. We were up at sunrise and we're back at sunset. Big hike, big boy hike on Solomon's Vegas Adventures. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Solomon's Outdoor Adventures. If you enjoy content like this, please like the video and subscribe to the channel, and check out some of our other adventures right here. As always guys, thanks again and peace!